Hi everyone. Now we are going to discuss about the second criterion for OET writing assessment, which is choosing right content. As we know, this is the second criterion for OET writing assessment and we are going to discuss in detail about how to focus on the content section. Here we are going to discuss about the two parts of content and how to identify what is relevant and how to present it accurately in the letter and I have included examples for each part. Alright, content is something which you can find in the case notes where you can find all the information to provide continued care to the patient. Okay, uh, so you have to decide what the reader needs and then you have to present it accurately. You cannot use your own judgments again. Okay, so you have to present it accurately in your letter. The common doubt everyone has is how to choose the content. As you know, there, there would be loads of information in the case notes and the writing task. So the two question what you have to ask is, what is the professional relationship between the patient and the reader? And what aspect of care should be delivered by the reader to the patient? This is the most important thing. For example, Always remember about the word content when you're reading the case notes. For example, if it is like an endocrinologist is a reader and you're going to talk about diabetic management. So the most important thing which you have to focus on is whatever is related to the diabetes. You have to include that in the letter. If there is no professional relationship between the patient and the reader, then you have to include all current abilities and inabilities so that the reader can provide appropriate care. Otherwise, if they have an existing professional relationship, then you don't have to include the professional, I mean social history, and but you have to include the current abilities and inabilities. If it is recent ones and as well as you have to include the recent GP review. And you have to ask yourself, Two questions. Is will the reader understand the situation clearly and is the information given enough to give proper care to the patient? How can you accurately represent the case notes? Well, the most important thing is you have to make the information clear for the reader. You can either summarize or paraphrase whatever the information is given in the case notes. So for that, you cannot change the meaning. You have to write the exact meaning, but you can use your own words. That's fine. But you cannot change the meaning as well as you cannot change the time frame. That is important as well. If they have mentioned dates, you cannot interchange the dates and make it confusing. You have to uh, write it in a chronological order. That is important as well. Okay. And then. There is an example here. In the case notes they have mentioned patient moving to Centerville to live with daughter and her husband. Okay, that's fine. Uh, here in the letter they have mentioned Mrs. Dunbar is relocating to Centerville to be nearer to her daughter and, and her son-in-law. That's fine. But it is grammatically fine but not in the presentation wise. She is not going to be near to her daughter okay she is going to live with her daughter or stay with her daughter so you have to present it in the right way don't change the meaning that is important here always remember that you have to finish your letter early and have some time to spare because you have to ask the following questions how would the reader feel at the end whether he will be satisfied with the letter or whether he will be able to provide enough care with the letter what you have given and will the reader know what they need to do to continue care well that is important as well as we have discussed okay do they have the right information well if you if you don't provide right information or relevant data 
then they won't be able to provide appropriate care to the patient are the facts correct well you have to know that whether you have included your own judgments or the facts which is given in the case notes and you have to represent it in accurate grammar and vocabulary don't change or don't use any inappropriate or wrong grammar okay that will change the whole meaning if you use uh, present tense instead of past and those things it makes a big difference there so you have to include or you have to keep in mind all these things above okay all right let me summarize this is the second criterion of the oet writing assessment you have to decide accurately what is relevant for the reader without that you won't be able to give accurate information so that they can give appropriate care to the patients and then you have to know what is a professional relationship whether the reader and patient know each other or not so that they can you can include the relevant information so then they can receive appropriate care again present case notes case notes accurately you have to use the facts which is given only in the case notes don't include your own ideas there and try to finish early and go through the letter again and again okay thank you for watching the video and if you have any questions please contact in the number given in the slide and please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button thank you so much for your time In the next video we are going to talk about conciseness and clarity which is the third criterion for OET writing assessment.